Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well and I hope you're keeping warm and dry. This latest storm to pass through, wow, we've had some crack, cracking wind and rain, but whoa, there's flooding all over. Hopefully you haven't been affected by it, but uh, wow, what a storm. I'm hoping and got all my fingers, legs and toes crossed that tomorrow's game at Stoke, I'm at Stoke versus Sunderland tomorrow, by the way, I'm hoping that it's not wet and I'm hoping that this storm passes over. I had to nip over to Layman's earlier on in the week and pick up my slightly faulty 1DX and that's stuck on my 400, my soft 400, because I haven't had a decision yet on the insurance, still waiting for that. So I've had to go and get my lens, uh, my 400 and my 1DX and heading out to the game tomorrow with that. But I'm sure we'll make the best of a bad job and hopefully, touch wood, next week, we should get a decision on the insurance. But anyway, so yeah, Stoke versus Sunderland tomorrow. And um, didn't have a game last weekend with it being an international break. And I've had quite a few questions on the sort of software that I use and how I set up my laptop for a game. So I thought, why not make a quick video on it? So I'm going to set up my laptop, preparing for tomorrow. I'll do a screen record and I'll show you how I get a set up pre-match. So without further ado, let's jump into the laptop and have a look. Right, first things first, let's make a file up ready for tomorrow. So we'll bring that file down. I'll call it Stoke versus Sunderland. Stoke v. Stoke v. Sunderland, we'll go into that. Now I'll have two or three files in here. First one, I'm gonna, when I transfer all my images out of Photo Mechanic into uh, Photoshop, I'm going to call that live. So I'll have that as a live file. And then after the game at full time, when I head back into the press room, I'll just have a full time file. And then when I get home at night or on the Sunday to look for any stock imagery or any second edits, I'll just have a second edit file and that'll do me for now. So we're set up with the file. Next, I'm going to go into Photoshop. I've got an image there from a couple of weeks ago and I like to make a quick action so that when I'm editing, I can bring it in, I can crop it and then hit the action, hit my, I always have an F3 set up, hit the F3 and it will save straight into that live file. So let's go into window and into actions and I've got an F3 there, so we'll just bin that. We'll set up a new action, F3. Don't know why it's F3, it's always been F3 for me. Right, let's hit record. Okay to that, we'll get rid of that for a minute and then we'll go into camera raw and then let's just take the I'm undoing this by eye so it's all by eye really nothing I'm just going to edit this image I can tweak it if 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 the if the conditions are really bright tomorrow or something then I'll have to make a new action pitch side but I'll try and get it ready before I'm just going to take the highlights down a bit let's go minus 10 on that and then this is where I like to give it a bit of punch so we'll go right up to say 45 Let's have a look at the dehaze. Now I don't want to give it, make it too dark on the old DA, so we'll go 10 on that. I might just take the exposure up a bit. Let's go two stops on that, and then let's go for a bit of saturation. I don't know, not I don't want to oversaturate it, but let's go 12. Because I do find when they're printed in the papers, you know, after the game. Obviously the paper, I think they're at 72 dpi for most, most papers print at 72 dpi, so they do lose a bit of colour. So I always like to saturate them a bit, a bit. but I think that's all right at that. So let's okay that. Let's just go Command Z, that's it before. Looks a bit flat and there's loads more punch on that. Pops out the screen, doesn't it, at that. So let's go for that. Let's go back into window. Oh, I tell you what, before we do that, let's go file, save as. I nearly forgot that vital step. We'll go to desktop. We'll go into Sunderland, uh, Stoke Sunderland. We'll go into live. We'll save it into there. Save. Save it at plus 12. Jobs are good. Em. So let's then close that. Go into window, into actions. Stop the action. And now I know that when I send an image into Photoshop, crop it to what I like to compose it nicely. Hit F3. It'll put all them edits on, give it a bit of punch, save it in live and close it. And I know that then my Photoshop is nice and clean. There's no images sat there. So that's that done. So let's go back to desktop. So I've got my live set up now. 
I've got my action in Photoshop. So next thing I want to do is go into my team sheet. I've been compiling a team sheet all season. Now, as you can see here, this is my captions by my way, my text files. So I've got all these different ones here, all, all shortcuts. Now I need to get, well, I can leave them there and add to it. But what I want to do first is get the referees in here. So what we'll do is we'll just go down on that a bit and then I'm going to go into there. So I'm going to go onto there. I've already got the referee appointments ready. So let's scroll down, find tomorrow's game. Stoke versus Sunderland, there we are. So there's the officials. We'll go into that, back into here, onto there. So let's get rid of the last referee. Referee David Webb, so let's get rid of him. And it's Graham Scott. So the assistants, Edward Smart. So we'll go assistant referee, chase that. No, 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 no. Let's go back. Command C, Command V. Same again, let's put Derek in. Command C, into there, Command V. And then fourth official is Will Finney. We'll copy him in. Oh, look at that. Fourth official, Will Finney. <laughs> He's already there. That's all right then. Right, so Graham Scott, Edward Smart, Derek Eaton and Will Finney. So now, tomorrow on my text file, the next thing I'm going to do is set up the command in a minute. But before that, we'll go back onto here. We'll go into football squads. Now, I haven't got Sunderland or Stoke because I haven't done a game with them yet. So... We'll go Stoke City first. Now, I'm sure you guys do this different. I do it a bit of a Heath Robinson way. And please do let me know in the comments how you do it. <laughs> but let's get this copied. So we'll copy all these. Go down to there. Command C. Back onto my text files. Now I'm going to go to the bottom of the page. We'll go to there. Command V. There we are. They're all there. Now, this is where I know you guys, some of you guys do it really different to me. But I'm going to go, I'm going to, I think it's the alt key, hold down on the pad. Making sure I don't chop any names off, any letters off any names. Let's get rid of that lot. Same again. Hold the alt key down. Go down here, go down until there, look, because there's someone's surname there. Get rid of that. Get rid of them. Get rid of that. Now, what I also like to do, a tip that I learned a few years ago now, is just go down all the names and like that one there, I can't, I can't remember the actual proper wording for it, but I'm going to take that E away and put a standard E there. I can't think what, like the itch here, look, let's put a normal C in. And like the S there, put a normal S in. I think it just helps for searches after the game. And the E there, look, let's get rid of that. I can't remember. The, let me know what the, the proper name for it is, but I think that, is that an... No, that's on my screen, so that's all right. So let's just double check them all. I think all the letters are all all right now. We've got no funny characters above them. Right, that's all right. So that's that done. So next. So this is Stoke, innit? So I've got to be careful because I've already done... Let's go ST on that one, and then down, ST, down, right. I'll join you in a minute once I've done this, but this is the Heath Robinson way of doing it. I'm sure there's a quicker way of doing it, but I just hit the arrow, ST, arrow, down and across, down and across. Right, I'll carry on doing this, guys, and I'll join you in a minute. Right, that's ST put in front of each number. So as you'll see in a minute, when I put ST number, it will bring the whole, you know how the text files work anyway, but it's just a nice shortcut. Right, so let's have a look at, I need to get the manager in there as well. So Alex Neil. so let's just 
copy him in, back to the text file. So let's go back up there. So we'll have uh, SM, I'm going to call it, for Stoke Manager. Oh, let's go STM, actually. STM. STM, we'll go, we'll tab across. That tab is vital, otherwise it won't recognise it. So we're tabbing across, and then we're going to go Stoke Manager, Alex Neal. Then we're going to go Stoke goalkeeper, and then let's have a look to see how many other keepers there are. Let's just look for the G's. So we've got 13, 34, and 40. 13, 34, and 40. So let's copy that. 13, 34, 40. So that's all them done. So that's the goalkeepers done. Now the rest of it is going to be of Stoke. We ought to put the city in there actually, didn't we? So I'm going to actually make that Stoke city manager and Stoke city goalkeeper. Let's just put them in the goalkeepers. We've got to get it right. City goalkeeper. Stoke City goalkeeper. Stoke City goalkeeper. Right, so now we're going to go of Stoke City. So copy that from the gap to the Y. Copy that and then make my way down these players. And again, I'm sure you guys have got a quicker way of doing this. Bit of a space there, just watch that I don't put any spaces in. Right, join me in a minute. <laughs> Let's just get rid of that. Right, so that's all the off Stoke City done. So that is now basically the text file done. So let's just go for Bet365 Stadium. Three fingers up. And let's go back to the top there where I've got all them bits. And now we've got, where are we? Let's just go below here. So let's go, let's call it Bet. Copy that in there. Bet365. So I'm going to go make their way to the and then I'll have a shortcut for that fans make their way let's go fans and then if I have to use that shortcut for something else I'll just delete that a little bit in actual fact let's go with a number three and just go bet three six five stadium so I'll know now I can put number three in and it'll put that in so that's that done so we've got that right we've got Let's go down to the bottom. We've got Stoke City, we've got L then, we've got all the S1, S2, S3, we've got all that. Right, now, I've got to get the Sunderland in again now, so we'll go back, do the same thing again with Sunderland, and I'll join you when Sunderland's done. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's that done. So we've got the referees in and the officials, and the fourth official in there, assistant referees. We've got... Bet 365 stadium shortcuts and then right down here I've got SU and then the numbers for all the Sunderland team. Got Tony Mowbray in there. Got the Stoke team in there and we're all good to go. So now I'm going to close that. Let's just change that to teams. That's all right. And it auto saves. So I'll close that. That's now on my desktop there. So that's all good. Let's just double check. So let's go into that. Yeah, they're changed. Look, Graham Scott. So I know that that's changed. Right, so into photo mechanic, industry standard photo mechanic. We all use it. I used to send out of, used to send to PA via photo mechanic, put all the FTP details in photo mechanic itself and send out of there, but I don't now. I drag and drop and use FileZilla. Uh, I'll show you that process in a minute. But uh, so let's go to edit and go to settings and then set code replacements. Now my team sheet is there. I'm gonna reload it, and then that will now reload 
all the names, the two teams and bits and bobs, the stadium name that I've put on that team sheet and that's all now ready. So when I go, tell you what, let's just quickly, let's just quickly show you. So I'll go on to my desktop quickly. Let's just go into desktop. Let's just go to my Ipswich game. We'll go to a raw image. We'll just open any old image. Let's just open any old image halfway through the game. I don't know what we're going to open. So let's go to that. We'll just open any old image halfway through the game. There we go. Don't know what it is. What is it? A celebration. So I would go into Photoshop. I would save that. So let's now go to into there. Now what I'll do is go into the information and then in there I'm going to put my forward slash SU30 forward slash and there's a Sunderland goalkeeper and then I'm going to put I don't know what else do we have bet365 stadium and then another forward slash uh, what else did we have um, referee and I, as you can see now creating a sentence with them shortcuts and then I would just hit save and then I'd go on to the next image. But let's cancel that, let's get rid of that. And then in here, I would have my live, my live album. I tell you what, let's open it up. So we'll go into that, we'll go onto the desktop, we'll go to the Sunderland, we'll open that live, because I'll obviously have that edited image in there. So let's go into there, we'll hit the information, we'll put on there, just for argument's sake, look, that's an Ipswich 27. But if I go SU 27, it's put in the player's name and I would put, I think I've got Celebrate scoring his second goal. So let's go, or oh, scores his second goal of the game. Liam Palmer of Sheffield. Oh, hang on, let's go SC2. Let's go C, Celebrate. Celebrate's number two. Celebrate scoring his side, second goal of the match, say. So we'll just get rid of that for argument's sake. So there we are. So there's those two. I would save that. And then OK that. I know that that's now got the right caption in. So what I do do is, oh, let's just get rid of that. We'll just put that down a minute and that. Now, if I go, I would have FileZilla open here. And then I would just drag that straight. Let's just highlight that. I would drag that and any other images that I want to send. I would drag that and drop that straight in my hot file on FileZilla. And then that would go straight off. I'll be able to watch the process and it'd be gone. So I've always got FileZilla open here. Obviously you load your FTP details and your hot file into there. You, you choose your file. My file will come up tomorrow, obviously Sunderland versus Stoke. I'll open uh, Stoke versus Sunderland. I'll open that. I'll have that open here at all times and then I'll just drag and drop through the game and afterwards as well. And the second edit on the day after. Just keep that file open drag it into the hot file and it's gone and done. So that's that done. Right, so what I'm going to do now is go into file, into ingest, primary destination. <laughs> I just realised that I've got a vital file missing. <laughs> Let's just go on to desktop. I need a raw file, what I call my raw file, so unedited, straight off the card file. Where photo, where photo mechanic ingest the files too. So flipping heck, numpty. So raw file, right, that's now in there. So let's go back into there. Right, so the raw file is there now. So that's where my ingested images are gonna go. Sunderland, Stoke Sunderland Raw, I know they're in there. Let's change the name to all lowercase, Stoke Sunderland. Yep, Stoke Sunderland, reset that, that's reset, that's okay. I want auto ingest ticked so that as soon as I put my card in the reader, it'll auto ingest it. I want incremental so that it knows when I put that card back in there after it's gone in the camera again and back out, it will only ingest the new images. So that's good. Got my disc set, got primary set, metadata I don't need. Stoke versus Sunderland I've got, and that's now sorted. So that's all all right. So we're sorted with that one. Right, let's just go through that. So I know now when I put my card in, it's gonna sort it out. And that is basically it really. Um, a few things that I didn't go over when I'm in Photoshop, 
I always try and set the constraints. I'll crop to five by seven if I can. If it's the far end and there's just a lot of goal, I might just make it a bit more of a panoramic. So I'll delete the five and I'll, I'll reduce it down so it'd be a seven by two or a seven by three. But as a rule, I'll try and crop everything to five by seven just to make it nice and cons a nice and consistent looking set, whether it's in landscape or portrait, always five by seven. I say, unless I have to reduce it in some way, I will, but as a rule, it's five by seven, always in JPEG, obviously. Um, yeah, and they go off as a JPEG. I think as a rule, they're about between three and four megabytes each. So easy to handle and good for the good size for the guys the other end that are sorting them out. And they all go live straight, straight onto the shush watch. They all go live straight onto the Shutterstock website from FileZilla. So you've really got to make sure I read and double read and double check that caption because there's no one in between me and the Shutterstock live feed website. So I've got to make sure that them captions are spot on every time. I've got my team sheet and I'll always check, check the team sheet to make sure that it's right with what's going on the caption. And yeah, that is about it really. I can't think of anything else. If there's anything else, I'll add it in a minute. But um, yeah, I've got my teams ready. So I've got my, I've, I've changed my referee. That's vitally important. Got everything else in there. Got the two teams loaded up. So that's that sorted. I've got, I've got my raw file in there now. I've got my full time, got my live. That's where everything will go. So that's all them sorted out. And uh, yeah, I think I'm about there. Just praying now that the weather's good. But uh, anyway, jobs are good. And leave any comments below. Let me know if you do anything different. If you use any different file names or anything like that, or how you set up your Photoshop. Be really interesting to see how you guys do it. Because I know I'm, a, I'm either a bit Heath Robinson, and my worst, my worst habits are that I only learn what I need to know and the rest of it I just poo poo it a bit so yeah if you if you do anything different please let me know because it's always good to learn every day is a learning day in photography as they say especially in sports photography where everything is boom boom straight away so the faster we can make our workflow the better so yeah leave any comments below and let me know how you you do it and we'll share it share it on the Facebook group and that and uh, yeah it'd be really interesting to see how you set up for your games but anyway I'm blabbering on Oh, if you're out tomorrow, I hope it's a dry one for you and not as windy as it is currently out there. And uh, pop your sets up on the photography chat page on Facebook. If you haven't joined yet, come over and join us. We usually compare our images on a, a Sunday and a Monday and a Tuesday and have a good chat about them. So, yeah, that's good. And, uh, yeah, have a great weekend, guys, if you've got a game. And we'll catch up next week. Take care. Catch up soon.